Good evening, what's going on there folks? Earthmaster here on the live stream, jumping in with an update video on this uh, Wednesday evening, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo, 2021, 8.50 uh, p.m. West Coast time. Latest quake on the globe, a 3.4, 3.6, up here around the Aleutian Islands area. This comes after a 4.2, just to the east of that area a little bit ago. Um, just a heads up, I did receive a... Um, little statement from a seismologist geologist professor if you will uh, at the pnsn network uh, asking uh, basically what i did was i sent out an email asking what they thought about all the trimmer going on in the central coast of oregon area and this is what uh this is what steve malone wrote uh with the department of earth and space sciences there at the university of washington he emailed me back pretty quickly i do appreciate that uh, yep, Central Oregon ETS epi episodic trimmer is hopping now, but is far from unique, he states. Uh, this section of Cascadia seems to have big bursts of trimmer and associated slip about every 22 months. So I did go back to this time frame that he talked about. We'll check that out here in just a second. The current one is right on schedule, the previous one being from the end of April through May 2019, with a bit more or later trimmer in June. There are several previous ones following about the same pattern in earlier years so of course he talks about the uh, web interface where you can go back and check out the specifics of that uh, of that time frame which I went ahead and uh, pulled up here go ahead and check that out uh, right here here you go so I went back from about April 1st 2019 to middle of June 2019 so that completely covered that time frame that he talked about uh, 22 months or so ago and there's no doubt definitely filled in pretty uh, pretty massively uh, in this time frame we're looking at about 13,000 epicenters of trimmer all up and down the uh, western coast there including in the northern California there so it's pretty a uh, pretty significant trimmer back in 20 uh, back 22 months ago in 2019 I just don't recall seeing this uh you know seeing the amount of activity that we've been seeing over the last three or four weeks taking place like this so we'll see what the numbers look like when the trimmer stops um what it's doing over the last few weeks or so here in this area so today today the activity is still continuing still right there right smack dab in this area just southwest of eugene area about 531 epicenters of trimmer taking place today, May 5th, 2021. Um, once this stops, I kind of want to do a little tally, if you will, on the amount of uh, total trimmers that have taken place um, with this go around compared to the one uh, 22 months or so ago, about two years ago, uh, back in 2019. So either way, uh, Steve Maloney, Steve Malone, I appreciate the uh, quick response there and the email uh, back on your uh, um, on, on uh, what's going on here with the trimmer in the uh, Cascadia subduction zone. So we have a little answer, but is this more uh, or less than what's been taking place in, in years past? I think it's a little more, but we'll see uh, once we get a uh, total tally of activity. Uh, what else we got going on here, folks? This is just a little diagram, simple, simplest diagram that you can ever think of when it comes to the uh, dynamics of the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, you got the Pacific Ocean, the Juan de Fuca plate subducting, right? It's going down. It's going beneath the North American plate uh, where ultimately the Cascades are formed, you know, and you get volcanoes coming up. You get magma flowing up and you get the coast range. Coast range is obviously a buildup of pressure. Um, from this subduction area. You got the little valleys here, the Willamette, uh, Willam what is that? Willamette Valley? That's the uh, valleys up there in the Oregon area. Sacramento Valley is down here in California, but you pretty much, uh, it's somewhat of the same dynamics here in northern part. Um, so you get that coast range build up here. And uh, it's pretty interesting to look at the dynamics of what all this pressure can do. Uh, it's pretty crazy. This here is in Alaska. The rock layers are lifting out of the sea as the Pacific plate subducts beneath the southern, beneath southern Alaska. And you get that, see that uh, 
that different strata of rocks right there angling up out of the ground. It's pretty cool to look at in person. Uh, also pretty awesome to see in pictures as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, just looking at uh, certain maps there, it shows you the uh, dynamics of the, uh, the entire West Coast, how the volcanoes are formed from this subduction process that's going on um, here along the West Coast. It's pretty cool. Uh, here's a little bit more colorful drawing or, or schematic, if you will. Um, this shows you exactly where the uh, subducting Juan de Fuca plate is, slab earthquake. Here's where you kind of get the trimmer going down, dip downstream, right? If you look at it on a map, let's go to uh, this map here. kind of shows that it's, you know, right there in the valley, right there in the valley of Oregon's, uh, of Oregon's. <laughs> The valleys of Oregon. It's kind of interesting uh, to see this, right? There's Eugene. It's inland, a uh, little, little distance. But if you look at in here, you got to go inland a little bit. But the further inland that you go, the more. Uh, make sure everything's recording, which it is. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to do what I did a couple weeks ago and uh, did a complete like 30-minute video and and never hit the window capture screen. It's horrible. It's a horrible feeling, let me tell you. So, yeah, the trimmer. Further inland that you go up here on the surface, the deeper it is. Definitely a lot deeper, okay? This is where you get the episodic trimmer. Uh, and sometimes you get some earthquakes building up back here. We kind of talked about this uh, this morning and also last night. The locked area is the back build, right? This is the strain build up here. Where we're, and they have it here on this drawing. Locked zone earthquake, the big one. But the magma and whatnot is formed as the plate uh, <laughs> plate sweats hot water, where the plate basically melts and and uh, all the dynamics of, of magma takes place and it goes up towards the the uh, surface there to create the uh, beautiful volcanoes there in the Pacific Northwest and the Sierra Nevada. Um, little dynamics here of how the plate's uh, functioning, if you will. You get this. Uh, this activity going on there and there's just a lot of buildup folks definitely a lot of buildup it's kind of it's kind of a hot topic right now if you will uh, this page is actually really cool it's got a wealth of information on it I will definitely go ahead and uh, uh, copy this and include that in the update video description below if you guys want to check this out it's a pretty pretty cool web page. I don't want to go intensely into it, but it's got a wealth of information if you want to know more about the uh, um, Cascadia subduction zone there. So anyway, tremor continues, folks, in the um, Pacific Northwest, in the parts of Northern California as well. Uh, earthquake activity at the surface. Make sure this is latest information. Refresh. Yep, there we go. Uh, movement along the southern edge of the Cascadia Megathrust Zone right there. You can see that 3. Point, well, 2.5, I believe. 2.5 earthquake kind of kind of down there. 21 kilometers below surface uh, into the just below the lock section, I should say, but not quite down into the trimmer area. Uh, trimmer area is going to be a little bit further down and more inland underneath this North American continent. But still, uh, we're still looking at some strain there in that region. Uh, all magnitudes does not show us any more in that specific area. Uh, in fact, Northern California looking somewhat quiet, aside from that activity, that little 2.5 there in the um, Cascadia Megathrust area. Uh, there was a little earthquake activity taking place here down near Banning, uh, down near Desert Hot Springs, Big Bear. Sits up here to the north. Uh, a little earthquake activity shaking the desert, uh, or at least the San Bernardino Mountain there, I guess. This is a uh, San, San Andreas Fault Zone. San, Bern, San Bernardino Mountain section. The Mill Creek Fault is this specific area right here where that 3.0 struck. A little bit further movement over here to the west towards the Sleeping Giant. Uh, a little deep earthquake activity, 13.6 kilometers for a 1.2 in that area. A little movement, a little microquake activity near Fontana and some further microquake activity near the concrete jungles of LA. But uh, other than that, there's not a whole lot of movement there in Southern California looking sporadic at the moment into Southern California. Uh, Pacific Northwest, some sporadic activity. We kind of covered this earlier in the uh, uh, video about the 
10,000 trimmers there in the Cascadia. Really nothing going on here. This is kind of interesting right here, though. This 1.2 earthquake. Uh, right? You think it's no big deal. You know, it's just a little small microquake. But look at the depth of this. Look at the depth. And I believe this, it's 100% it's, uh, related to the trimmer activity that's going on here in this region. But this is further down. This 52 kilometers uh, leads me to believe that the trimmer, um, obviously the trimmer is a little bit more upstream, 25, 35 kilometers upstream, which would put it a little bit further over here to the west. And you've seen it on the map there, just southwest of Eugene. But we're getting some deeper movement uh, there underneath the trimmer area, down dip, even further down dip. So a lot of action going on there in the uh, in the North American plate with the Juan de Fuca plate there. And this 1.1 is a little deep as well, 36 kilometers in that region. So, you know, whether it's normal or not, there's definitely some dynamics and some interesting uh, uh, activity taking place here along the North American continent. Um, you know, I'd, I'd love to know when the big one's going to hit. You know, what's the... Uh, What's it going to look like beforehand? Are we going to see swarms of earthquakes along the Cascadia? Or are we just going to see a wabam? You know, a big old nine-pointer just break break loose out here and just cause, you know, a lot of chaos along the West Coast. It, uh, you know, it's. I'd like to know. I would definitely like to know about that. And uh, who knows? Maybe we'll see in our lifetime. Maybe we won't. I'm kind of leaning towards maybe we will. Texas kind of quieting down, although we're getting a little further migration towards Midland, Odessa, Odessa uh, out there in the desert. Pecos, Texas, we've seen quite a few swarms of earthquakes over the last couple weeks in this region. Things kind of mellow, mellowing out and uh, migrating up here towards the northeast. Kind of keeping an eye on that area as well. Uh, Oklahoma, Oklahoma City, OKC, 1.2, little microquake, not even really to discuss there in that region. Uh, Earthquake activity along the Aleutian Islands kind of ramping up a little bit. A couple four-pointers kicking off here along the Aleutian Trench, the subduction zone. Uh, Japan still not showing any significant movement. Small little 4.6 just off the coast there. Um, and it looks like a little bit further deeper movement around the Samoa Tonga area. Nothing as deep as what we've seen uh, yesterday during the update. Just about 54 to... Uh, there's a little 38, 67 kilometer below surface earthquake there, uh, south of Samoa. Uh, but overall, deep earthquake activity kind of dwindling down. We're starting to starting to see, excuse me, a little increase in activity uh, along the North American Pacific Plate and also through the Aleutian Islands area. Kind of watch this a little bit. Uh, no doubt the plates are shuffling up a little bit, and and um, got to be on guard up here. Chile, South America region. Little 4.4, 4, 128 kilometers downstream there into the subduction zone. Um, also up here, another deep earthquake, 154 kilometers for that 4.5 in Peru. Pretty deep. Uh, what else we got here, folks? Not a whole lot going on over here on this, this side of the world, according to the USGS. Some deep movement over around the Greece area, Mediterranean Sea. Um... Well off the coast of Turkey, Sea of Crete region, 4.484 kilometers down below the surface in that region. Uh, what do we got here for Yellowstone National Park? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Not a whole lot. Again, looks like potentially, see all this activity? You can see on this you can kind of see something going on here. Something registering on a couple of these stations here. And they, and they show up when you get that signature, some type of signature on these seismograph stations on multiple, multiple graphs here. I want to climb in and see what's going on there. Maybe a little bit, a little bit of earthquake activity ramping up. And I think it's coming off of this stuff right here. I believe about the same time period as what we're looking at on some of these other maps here or other uh, yeah other uh, seismographs kind of showing up about the same time so we'll keep an eye on it no guarantee uh, but it looks like potentially something a little bit of earthquake activity 
nothing uh, nothing too scary all right guys we're out of here um, I don't know what I was gonna cover I think that was about it um, yeah so we'll see anyway thanks again for that uh, that uh, reply from the PNSN folks there I uh, uh, definitely appreciate it and we'll be watching the uh, trimmer pretty closely no doubt see if it's gonna die down or see if it's gonna continue all right guys have a good night uh, I'm out of here Please stay safe out there. Always be prepared. Definitely not the time to be scared, but definitely uh, want to be prepared. Have a good night, folks. Stay safe.